Welcome to John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's think about that for a minute or two. Would you give your only son to die for mankind? Jesus will have these scars forever. This shows how deep is God's love for us. Who is the Son of God? For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. God is going to let him die for us? What sort of love is this? Whoever believes in him should not perish. Well, believes comes from the Greek to have faith in. The devils believe, but they tremble. And to perish in the Greek is to destroy fully. There is no eternal life for the wicked. But the righteous have everlasting life. And let's have a look at that. For God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he that sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. There shall be no means enter it anything that defiles, or works an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. The great controversy will then be ended. Sin and sinners are no more. The entire universe is clean. One pulse of harmony and gladness beats through the vast creation. From him who created all flow life, light, gladness throughout the realms of illimitable space. From the minutest atom to the greatest world, all things, animate and inanimate, in their unshadowed beauty and perfect joy, declare that God is love. God bless you, friends.